somehow knew we weren't done with Hell House. Uh, after, you know, several, uh, the original and then several sequels, you just had a feeling this was not going to end there, and it hasn't. So now we have Origins, uh, The Carmichael Manor. All right, so what is this one about? Let's see what IMDb says. A group of cold case investigators stay at the Carmichael Manor, site of the grisly and unsolved murders of none other than the Carmichael family back in the 80s. After four nights, the group was never heard from again. What is discovered on their footage is even more disturbing than anything found on the Hell House tapes. All right, well, I guess that is going to be up to you to decide uh, if you've seen the previous uh, movies and then you watch this one to see uh, if that is true or not. But uh, anyway, this one is uh, definitely seems perfect for, for this time of year, uh, the haunting season here, October. Uh, it is a new one on Shutter, and uh, got a screener for this one a little early, so um, we'll try to keep this as spoiler-free as possible. However, if you've seen any of the other movies uh, in this in this group here, uh, in this franchise, uh, you know it, it's gonna follow a very similar kind of path. Um, so you you're, you know, I guess there's not. You know, too much for, for me to really spoil here. Um, again, you know, this is a, another one for uh, found footage fans. If, if you like that, uh, this movie is, is definitely here for you. Um, yeah, it is It is all, all found footage. They, you know, they're, they're carrying around the camera the entire time. Or they're revisiting footage um, from the Carmichael house um, back in the day. So... You know, you, you kind of know what to expect. So, um, you know, I don't know where to, to, to kind of start. I guess, you know, kind of reading a little bit about this when I when I shared the, the press release for this, I guess it's mentioned in there by the filmmakers that, you know, this is not necessarily a sequel, not necessarily an origin story or a prequel or whatever, uh, just kind of its own story and kind of the, the same kind of universe here. And... Um, may give you some insight on some things, maybe not, it, it you know, kind of depends. Um, I know, you know, like I said, lots of people like this, this, this series, this franchise. Um, I, I think, you know, in my mind, in the mind, you know, what it comes with a lot of these franchise movies is the first one is, is usually the best. And then, you know, you have hidden miss sequels, um, you know, uh, I would have to go back and watch them all to kind of, you know, think about which ones I, I liked more than the others. Um, it it is definitely have its, has its place. It's definitely uh, got a creepiness to it. And um, definitely one of the, the found footage films that, that uh, I guess I, I err more on the side of liking. Um, as I usually disclaim in, in found footage movies that I, that I review, I'm not the biggest fan of them. Um, you know, after the first famous uh, few of them that, that kind of came out, uh, you know, it, and it just became too much. And, and I always have, you know, I've already filed my complaints here, so I'm not going to go through that again. So anyway, um, you know, I, I do have issues here and there uh, with found footage and, and so forth. But uh, uh, this this definitely, uh, the way th this franchise is shot is definitely found footage just adds to just the creepiness of it and definitely the clowns which i'll get to here shortly so uh here we go again uh kind of dive into what is happening here and i'll try to keep this uh fairly spoiler free again uh but you guys who've seen the franchise kind of know it's but if you haven't by the way seen this franchise and you're sitting around and you still have some time left between october or in any other time and you're just looking to be uh scared and 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 so forth and and kind of want to dive into something paranormal slash you know uh, found footage uh definitely throw on all of them and, and see if you can watch them all in one one setting uh and then see if you can go to sleep uh that that's a challenge go for it um anyway uh this one uh 
you know, again, kind of a similar thing here. You have a, a, a uh, two young women here who go to this house uh, to kind of unfold uh, an investigation here. So you kind of get an introduction to them and who they are and why they're doing this. Um, you can find out a little bit more about them, you know, kind of as the story goes on. And uh, then there's a, a gentleman that, in, that joins them as well. So you kind of find out a little bit about who he is and, and how he kind of fits the fold here um, uh, with, with the two young women here. And, um, you know, it always seems like, you know, in kind of these haunting movies and so forth, um, always something in, in somebody's past kind of plays a role in, in what's about to happen to them and so forth. So you're going to get maybe a little bit of that and, and, and kind of why the, these characters um, are here in that respect as well. So... Um, yeah, they're going to go there and they're investigating the Carmichael, Carmichael family and, uh, you know, great name, but I, I don't like saying it so many times. Um, anyway, uh, apparently long ago, you know, they were, you know, the usual family living there and, uh, things went wrong and, and nobody's really sure why, uh, as they talk about, they have different theories about what exactly happened. Um, you know, it's suspected that the husband really did it. Um, one of the sons went kind of missing and, and obviously the other family members, I believe there was a mom and a daughter who are definitely dead, <laughs> uh, here. So, you know, are they all dead? Uh, you know, why'd they do it? And then those kind of things are all un unsolved and, and, you know, is he still an old man out there somewhere living? <laughs> Um, or is, is he also dead and gone? So, you know, all kinds of questions about, about the family, what exactly happened here and so forth. Um, so they're going to be in this house, kind of going through things. Um, one of the girls in particular has done a lot of research and, and so forth. And, um, kind of when they, you know, they get there, they, they know what they're looking for. There's also a tie into a, a hotel that's near there and uh events that happened there so you know you know did the events there happen here here happen there uh you know what is that connection that kind of plays a role in it um also here i should also mention that you also have two other people here who are basically you know, it's almost threefold here. You're going to get a little bit of the Carmichael family and, and, and see a little bit of, of, of what is happening there. Then you're going to see the two women and the gentleman here who are in the house now and, and kind of uh, their investigation. And then you're going to have two other people who are basically talking about the two women and guys investigation of the Carmichael. So, yeah, there's like three different groups here. Um, so... Yeah, you're going to have two people, uh, uh, a man and a woman, talking about the, the investigation and why the three are now missing who are we're looking for evidence of the family. So, yeah, it's a whole whole line there. Hopefully I didn't confuse the hell out of you there. Um, so you're going to have them kind of talking about the events that happened mostly to the three that are doing the investigation. Um, as the three that are doing the investigation, you're going to learn about the Carmichael family. Okay, but enough of that. Um, so yeah, it is kind of, it's almost like a, a documentary. It's like they're, they're, these two people are getting filmed and talking about it. And then you get to see kind of the events that are unfolding there. And, um, yeah, that's, that's enough confusing of you guys there. Um, so yeah, uh, as the, the longer they stay in the house, obviously the, the more creepier it gets and, uh, more stuff that, that is going to start, you know, moving and so forth. Um, Obviously, the, the clowns that we've kind of seen and come to know in the other movies uh, that are just these, these mannequins that are there uh, are, are in this house as well. <laughs> they are there, and they're just standing there. And obviously, if you've seen the other ones, you know that just because they're standing in one room at one time at the beginning of the movie doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be standing in the same place or just standing still by the end of the, of the movie. Um, so eventually, uh, you know, as the three stay in this house, the longer it is, uh, the creepier things get, the more they stumble onto stuff they shouldn't do. And you might 
get to see some clues about what really happened in this house. And uh, obviously bad stuff is going to happen to these three people here. So uh, that's kind of the gist of it. Don't want to get into too much details. I don't know that there's much to spoil because, you know, you, you guys, if you, even if you haven't seen the other movies, you're kind of going to know that this is just not going to end well. Like I said, I've said it in other reviews, uh, you know, when you when you kind of go investigating in these stuff and looking for bad things, you always risk finding the bad thing and uh, most likely uh, you get what you deserve because that bad thing is also going to get you. There's a reason why bad stuff happened before and uh, bad stuff is now going to happen to you. So, you know, there are good, good odds of that. So, uh, yeah, good luck with that. So that's why we don't we don't do that kind of thing. So, um, I, I, again, like I said, it kind of follows, you know, a very similar formula, similar path here. So I, I, I really, if you enjoyed the other movies, I, I don't see why you wouldn't like this one. If maybe, you know, by the time you've watched all the other movies, it, it just no longer kind of got that scare factor for you, that creepiness factor for you. Then, yeah, I can see, you know, maybe it not working. You know, I, I know that not everybody's been a fan of some of the sequels of this. So I'm, I'm not sure the exact reason. Like I said, I have to go back and watch them over to figure out, you know, what the good and the bads of it. So I'm not sure what fans liked and didn't like about the sequels. So, you know, there's always that chance of, of maybe you feel like you've seen it already. So this one will, you know, not do you any, any favors either. Um, I, to me, it, you know, it's just a lot about those damn clowns. You know, I don't necessarily have a fear of clowns. Uh, or anything like that. Uh, it, it's just something just because of the way they shoot them, because of the way they're just there, uh, because of just the way they make the simple use of it, it, it. There's just a, just gives you that unease. Like even if it doesn't necessarily, well, I guess it's gotta scare you to, to a little bit. Um, definitely if you have a fear of clowns, <laughs> you know, this might not be for you. Um, or a fan of uh, a fear of mannequins. I'm sure there's a fear of mannequins fear. I don't know what that is, but uh, even that as well. Um, and, you know, just, just they're being so simple with it. And yet it is just creepy as hell. Like it's just creepy. Like, I, I don't know, like, you know, you have, you know, famous clowns and horror. You have, let's say, it. you have obviously art has made his, his way here now. Um, you know, each in their own way. Uh, you know, one, I one, obviously like like the movements that Art does. He never really speaks. It's just everything that he does or doesn't do, and just kind of standing there. And but he's more action oriented. Eventually, you know, when he kills you, he's going to actually physically kill you. And, and, and kind of it has that kind of you know freaky. You know, it can do anything, be anything kind of thing there um, as the clown. But these clowns here are, you know, mostly just mannequins. I mean, they're mostly just there. You don't necessarily see them do a whole lot. And when it comes time to when the person's kind of, you know, at it and going to get it, you never really see a whole much. It's not, you know, kind of like I said, not like art. You're not going to see the person get torn into shreds here. You're not going to see the blood and guts and whatever. Uh, because it's found footage, you get a lot of screaming and, and you know, you might get the images. Uh, you might get to see, you know, the clown be in one place and then, you know, kind of the camera moves and or blinks or whatever. And then it's in another spot and, and, and you know, you might get to see some slight movement, but you don't get a whole lot there. But you know that it's just not going to end well for whoever is there. And uh, to me, it, it just it works so well. So it obviously definitely puts these these clowns up there. Obviously, I got to give a shout out to the killer clowns. Can't miss them either. Um, but yeah, you know, you have all these different clowns doing different things. Uh, and definitely, you know, I, I, to me, they just, just, it just, to do so little and be so creepy uh, is, is definitely good. So uh, with that, you know, I, I, I just kind of give them the, the shout out for, for that. Um, you know, like I said, it may have worn on some horror fans about it, you know, and if it does, it does, you know, that's kind of the thing you do in sequels, you know, lots of horror fans would, they, you know, they want to see it. Um, but you know, they also get exhausted. I mean, horror fans get exhausted of a lot of things. Um, you know, we just recently had a Saw movie 
and you would think that you know a lot of people got exhausted of that but you know it, it did well and you know people wanted to see it so um you, you know you never really know so again not surprised that they did another one of these movies um so you know definitely i think if if you haven't seen this yet but you're a fan of franchise and you you are just freaked out you wouldn't want to watch it because you get freaked out by those clowns you're definitely gonna to have to watch this one again uh watch this one um again it's hard for me to say you know where this one lands with the other ones obviously you know everybody really really liked the original and obviously that's always going to stand out because it is you know where everything started um it, you know it, it does kind of you know, as you would expect, and I don't want to be, you know, spoil anything, but as you would expect, obviously the door is open at the end of this one for more, but I, I don't think that's any surprise, you know, the fact that they just went back and did this one, that there might be another one in the future, obviously, you know, we see the success of VHS, and, and now we just get sequel after sequel, not complaining, glad to be, glad to, to see them, um, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if, if we see yet another one of these movies, um, and 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 so forth so um i don't know that there's, there's much more to say uh you know i i think you know this is in my books it, you know one of the ones that are up there in, in found footage uh especially the, the first one regardless of whatever you think of the sequels um but you know i i think this is just a a, a great franchise to watch during this time of year especially if you're into this kind of thing. You got found footage, kind of the paranormal creepiness here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give it 3.5 pools of blood. Uh, I liked it. You know, there wasn't a lot of characters. You know, there's only the three of them. Yeah, they kind of flash back. You get some uh, stuff going on with with the Carmichael family, and and that kind of had its own creepiness and, and scariness in its own self. Um, but definitely ramps ramps it up you know as we go here and uh kind of gives you you know a lot to think about you know as, as you know what is exactly unfolding here um you know i don't want to get into too much the, you know the the, uh, the the group here just kind of stumbles onto stuff and opens some doors and and leads its way to bad stuff there so uh kind of gives you you know some food for thought of a of what happened there what happened with these girls you know what's the bigger picture here with hell house and these clowns and so forth so uh you know it just it just adds to it so uh again 3.5 pools of blood uh again this one is on shutter so hopefully you guys check it out and enjoy it um definitely one one here and then i know it's releasing just before halloween so hopefully you do get a, a chance to squeeze it in um before Halloween or on Halloween or or even if you're sad that you know you, you didn't get a chance to see it before Halloween and it's November 1st and you're kind of sad that hey you know Halloween has passed uh you know it doesn't mean you, you you can't stop you know you stop watching horror you know you can still uh, obviously enjoy it as horror fans so definitely uh maybe catch it even the day after and uh just continue your 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 celebrations of, of October and Halloween and horror uh that way so uh yeah, with that, Horrors Gory Reviews.blogspot.com is where you can find all of my reviews written in video, uh, but obviously tons of video reviews lately. So if you just want to like, subscribe uh, to the channel, that that is fine. Like everybody wants you to do, but if not, no worries, no problem, no big deal. Um, appreciate it in any way, any support, regardless. Um, Twitter, Facebook information down below as well. You can reach out to me. Uh, there, if you want to uh, me to review something, look at something, um, uh, or talk horror, that that is fine. Happy to do so there, and uh, definitely in the comments section. You know, what was your favorite of the of, of the series? Um, you know, do those clowns really freak you out the, the same way they, they do me? Um, I, I definitely, if I would have walked in that house and saw that i would have said investigation over and would have left at that point but whatever <laughs> they got what they deserved um so with that i guess i'll catch you on the next review horror fans